Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of multiplying by 10 or 100. This is standard 4.4b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 5 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we've got a basic number sentence. We've got a square, and this is a square even though it's rotated. It's not a rhombus because we've got four square corners that have equal sides. We've got the square times 10 equals circle. So which table shows this number sentence to be true? So really it's just an, think of it like an input-output table, but we are multiplying by 10. Multiplying our square by 10 to get a circle. There is a really easy way to figure this out, and we will make sure we get this get to that by the end of the video. But let's start by just kind of going the slow way here. So what I want to do is I want to start with the first square number in each of these answer selections, multiply that by 10, and simply see whether that comes to our circle. So we've got 44. So if I were going to say 44 times 10, we could do 2 by 2 multiplication. So that first row is all zeros. Second row is going to be just times 1. So there's your 4 and 4. So our answer is going to be 440. And as you can see, this A right here, what this does is this actually just adds 10. So this is a plus 10 all the way across. And we want a multiply by 10. So that is incorrect. B, 44 again. So we've already got that 44. But take a look, we've got our 440, so that is looking good. So uh, let's check the other ones, C and D, and then we can just kind of multiply our way down and make sure that stays true. So look at what C does. C's got 44, but it's got that extra zero. So that's actually going to be something else. We'll come back to C. It's incorrect. And then D is kind of weird. It just puts a zero in the middle. It, it just adds like a weird number because it's 360 for the first one or 540 for the next one. So it doesn't really quite work. So B looks like it's going to be good. Let's take our second one. So 66 times 10. And so that's zeros again. Boy, it's kind of annoying when you have to just multiply that first row and it's just by zeros. And that's kind of what we're wanting you to see here when we multiply by tens or 100. So this second one looks good. Let's do that third one, 99. 99 times 10. There's your zeros again. And then you've got your 99. So it's just 990. So that is looking good. Now that next one's a little bit weird, 150. It's a 3 by 2. So 3 by 2, not something we really get into in fourth grade. It's more of a fifth grade concept, but it's going to kind of work the same. You just take 0 and multiply it by all 3 now. It's 0, 0, 0. And then you multiply the 1 by all 3, 0, 5, 1. So yeah, we get our 1,500. So yeah, B definitely looks like that's going to work. Let's just line these up here. And I'm going to add a few more here. So... We know what 3 times 10 is. So 3 times 10 is 30. Uh, we know what 10 times 10 is. That's 100. These are just basic facts. Uh, and so then we'll add up our other ones here. So 44 times 10, we're going to see is 440. We've got our 66 times 10 equals 660. And hopefully we're noticing a pattern here. When we multiply anything times 10, we just take our first factor and we add a 0. Look at that. Take our first factor 3, add a 0. 10 times 10, take our first factor 10, add a 0. 44 times 10, take our first factor 44, add a 0. 66 times 10, take our first factor 66, add a 0. That's the trick. C is close because they multiplied this by 100. Because when you multiply 100, you just add two zeros. But our answer here is B.